Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be dealing with raft foundation design and pile foundation design. Come, let's go. Let me show you the secrets. Hello, welcome to CAD Skills Training Masterclass. It has been a wonderful time. Ready. We will go into our rock foundation design. I'm making use of this drawing we have designed. I've already deleted the pad basis, so there is no pad put in there. So we are going to model our rock foundation. To do that, you go to your STOO which is a foundation and everything is like this you have to open your AutoCAD your AutoCAD will guide you your AutoCAD will guide you so that will guide you. All right, you minimize, you minimize. Okay, now I'm taking it from this angle. So I want, I want you to be very careful. Take it from this one. This one. There isn't the foundation, which is the ground floor. So our model is going to be based on the foundation, which is this one. Okay, all right. So you go to your beam, select the size of the beam, the depth. Let's say 1,200 depth. All right. Okay. We begin to insert the beams. Modeling. So, whosoever that say that you cannot do anything with the software is lying to you. You remember that I was cantilever here, cantilever command here and this year, but in our foundation. This is where our foundation will stop. Take note. Modeling this, please.
lost a lot. And 150 can be 175. Then the choice. So I put this lot. Now we are going to make use of finite elements. Now when I mean finite element, in this case, it means that you know in our normal design manual calculation, we design per meter run, per meter run. But in this our finite is just a way of breaking it more pieces. Breaking it more pieces. That one meter run we are designing can be broken into more hundred pieces, more small pieces, segments, can be broken into more 1,000 segments to give us a good analysis. And breaking it into that small, small finite element will lead to matrices, which we cannot uh, solve manually. Those matrices, the use system to solve them, okay? So that is why we are going to be making use of this finite method. All right, I click on this finite. I insert my my strip no slab here okay continue with my strip okay the way I put them before that's the way you put them. Alright. When you have finished that, you update it. You update. You say, okay. And the next thing you need to do is to go to run. Go to finite element graph foundation analysis. When it open, click on this. Say yes. It has bring out this. You can further break this into pieces. Uh, your own maybe 800 here. I was one that change it, so I can start to use that 800 that is already there, or I can increase it depending. The more smaller, smaller it is, the more better analysis it is. Is there a problem in this place? I didn't put this lab there. Let us see, let it finish. Is it time space? Okay. All right. Now look at it here. Okay, you go to five, you exit, it will run analysis for you. It will run the analysis. Analysis allow you to run. Okay, it has finished running. This is my output card. Let me close it. Once you have finished running this way. Click here, you click OK, you close this. Go to run, go to beam section and detailing, come to foundation beam. See it? Alright. You click on this first one.
click on this Designing them one by one. Yes. So that uh, foundation beam is not always much. It's not always much. So we take a Everything is okay. Let's get the calculation sheet from here. This is the calculation sheet. Story footing. So this is the calculation sheet. Click on PDF to open it very well. So you can read it. This is the story footing. Okay, save the calculation. Everything is okay. Save it. Save it. Okay, I want to see the details now. Detailing. You click on detailing here. You click on this. Get the details from here immediately. Just wait. Okay, it has opened. So this is the detail, the foundation details. Remember, it is fluid. So this is this. 
call Raft Foundation. This is for the Raft Foundation. Is that all right? Okay. I will be using another drawing to show us the um, the foundation for the pie pie foundation. Let's see the three things in this place. Okay, look at it. This is what we have done. Is that all right? This is what we have done. This is what we have done. Okay. Now, I'll be using the... Okay, let me still use this for the pie foundation. Pie foundation. This is still the foundation, right? Open. Okay. All right. We'll be looking at the STO core feet, which is this. Okay. We want to delete the slabs. It's on, it was originally a craft foundation. Delete the slab. I will also delete the beams. I will also delete the beams. This is how the foundation looks like. This is how the foundation looks like. Okay. Is that right? I want to do pipe foundation. No. Let's let's go. In the former way we use and design our normal pipe foundation. You clear? You right click. Go to insert pie cap. Is that right? These are the things you have to fill in. Pi cap depth is it by 400? Is it by 600? Is it by 700? You put which type of pile do you want? Is it circular or rectangular? Or square? You put it here. Circular or square is what we have. You put it here. Calculate automatically so we don't need to fill out this one. Compression this is 150 as working spy self working load. Tension, compression and tension this way. Alright, by self. By you can browse it and know what it means. By self working good. So you read about this how you go. If it's constant or not constant. You need to I will not tell you everything, the little things you need to research on your own. But this is the default, okay. Now this are the covers. This is the spacing. Now you come to load. This is the moment where you get the moment. The same thing the way you get the we see here. Get the moment now. You see the moment here. So charge. So you need to wait. The so you need to wait. Moment at y. You need at x. This is the load is working on. That's okay. The parameters is already set. Minimum allow minimum distance from pi cap to cap edge. That is just like a kicker. Oh, is it 200 mm, 300 mm, 500 mm? That I want to specify distance from column face to cap edge. Okay, let's just leave everything the way it is. Minimum number of pies is it two we want or five we want? We will see. As we want to calculate it, it will teach you us how many pies that come out. So I click on calculate. You see, when I click on calculate, it's telling me increase or decrease. If I say okay, look at what it's doing. So 
based on the load and information we have put so far, it's saying that this column is going to have five pies. Look at this column, five pies. Five pies to carry this column. All right, let's design another one inside. It's a pie. And after changing all our, let's change this one to square. After changing all our change goes, we bring out our moment and we say calculate and we say okay. Let's see how many it will give us. This one gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Based on the load coming here, now this is a first story building. Based on the load coming here, you say it's going to be nine parts that we have this base. This is the pie cap size. This is the pies. Then the column will be of this place. One tray by one tray. One tray by one tray. This one is also one, one by one one. Okay, that's how you design all of them to get here. Okay, you design another one. You start by. You change all the changeables. Don't forget the moment is activated. Don't forget it. You calculate. Okay. So too much. Okay, let me design and reduce the number of parts. Let me calculate. Let me decrease. This stated here. Number of pies nine. I see it. nine. I want to decrease. I want to decrease it. Number of pies nine. It does not even de de decrease. It is already set there. Set it. You cannot edit it. Not be addicted, you still remain nine there. So that is what you come at now. Number of pies, what you come at there is nine. You see now, you see what is it? What is it? Nine pies. The diameter is 150. I'll show you the diameter of the pie. Let me do this one for the last time, then you can do the rest. Make sure that you change this to know these loads are not the same. Number of pi, 8, and the size is circular and is 150 size. Here that means okay. This is size pi size 150. You can adjust it and adjust the pi size, make it 300 and make it any size. No problem. Here, the design. So, after checking those things, you can see 14, 14.7. Let's see if it will change. You can see that it changed. It's now 1952. Point. Please make sure you change it. That would determine what is coming there. See what is coming here. Four here, four here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. That is that for the Pi Foundation. Now let's get the calculation sheet for this Pi Foundation. I click here. I click on the last one. Highlights. Right click. 
I want to print the calculation sheet first. This is the calculation sheet. This is the calculation sheet for the buy for the buys. Okay, you can go through it on your own. Understand more things about it. Okay, now I want to get the detail. We click here, the place we got detail from our normal part. We create new sheet. Yes. You see the detail. You see the detail. Export it to AutoCAD. Okay. You can explode it as well. Explode. Okay. Copy. Right click. Copy. Close from here, paste it. So this is the end of our our work. Um, now we say 200 to the age of the cap pie cap. This is what he say. 200 on age of the pie cap. So you have to take time to study this. You have to take time. See where the pie see, see where the pie cap will be. This is the pie cap. These are pies. So you have to understand, Sha. You have to understand. Okay, this is the end of our design in Orion. But I forgot to show us something and I will show us now. To bring your I will show us now. And also export this one to AutoCAD if you wish. Now, to get your quantity tables, let me use the one we used before. Should I use this one to catch us? Okay, no problem. Let me use this one. Let me use the other one. So let me use the one we are working on. Let me use the one we are working on. Okay. We want to get our quantity tables now I want to quantify this work the quantity of iron to be used for work concrete we will do it to do that very simple come to this place quantity extraction tables click on it what are the things you want to provide you want quantity of concrete quantity extraction I like it Let's talk about the concrete first. After the concrete, we come to form work. After the form work, we come to slab. After the slab, we come to column. After the column, we come to beams. Okay? Now, you can do that in micro as Microsoft Excel. If we put it, we bring it out in Microsoft. But now, let it, let it keep on bringing it out in the normal PDF. So I click on concrete quantity extraction table. That's what I want to get. This 
are the columns and their sizes. These are their areas. These are their length. This is the volume of concrete in cubic meter. So each column takes 0.056 m cube. So when they quantify everything for column one, all the columns total, look at what they got, 1 point something cubic. Right. This is for beams. When they quantify each beam, this beam now, all the beams are not the same. That's why I see different, different value here. So based on the beam, this is their quantity they take. At the end of the day, they should be able to give us the total. See the total. Total cubic is that one point something cubic meter. That is what they use. Now, for you to get the volume of cement to be used, you know the grade of concrete. When you know the grade of concrete, you know how many bands that is in that grade per cubic. Divide this by that. You get number of bags you will use for this place. Exactly. If you really want to get it accurate. If one is to two is to three, for example, it's going to take six bags of cement to give you one cubic. What you need to do when you come here, that this by this, divide by that six bags. Because one cubic is equal to six bags. So six bags multiplied by this. Sorry, six bags. If one if one is to two is to four or is to three ratio, a cubic of it gives you six bags of cement. And now we have total beam area. The, the volume is going to take that one point something cubic. Now for you to quantify the number of cement bags of cement you are going to use, if six is equal to one, so six times this gives you the total number of bags of cement you are going to use to cast for these beams or same thing you do so this is slab slab will take 55 that is ground floor story one 55 for this cubic okay so that slab will give this ground floor will take this so when you add it together total story you take 55 Go to columns, it gives you everything also. So that is how you go and you get the total cubic you are going to be using. Concrete quantity, this is the completion for foundation. You use 55 points for story one, ground floor, you use this for first floor, you use this. So the total of what you are going to use for all the columns, you will use nine points. For all the beams, you use 7.1 mq. For all the slab, this is what you use. For rip, no, there is nothing we are, we are doing with rip. You can see it. What we are doing with filler, nothing. Footing, nothing here. So total, you see it. Total cubic you are going to use is 1, 3, 3, 1. So let's assume that based on the grade of concrete we are using, we have 6 bags per 1 cubic. So multiply 6 bags times 1, 3, 9 point. One two zero. You will get the total number of bags you are going to buy for this. Of course, you know you're going to go for cost safety because of wastage. So that is that for this one. So you save it. That is your extraction. Now you have extracted for concrete. All right. We now remove concrete. We go to four work. We we'll start for one work. Now the plank we'll be using to do all the whole works can be quantified. How do we do it? We know that a plank is how many? Is it eight? Just get the length of a plank. You know, get the hand two by two by nine by twelve. Let's assume two by nine by twelve. Now, if it is twelve feet, if it is twelve feet, now convert twelve feet by 3.02 divide 12 feet by 3.02 you don't know number of meters okay okay if you have no number the number of meters now what do you do you just take time to go through them i believe i've put us through this is beam this is the number this is area because now this is area now area length and straight that is what they are doing multiply it by two because it's four sides or length and straight or 
the bread can be times two because it's two sides. Then only one side is the wheat, which is the ten side. That is for the bean. You know, for the columns, you know, is complete. So then that's bread as two. So that is how you get all the whole areas here. So when you when you quantify it all, you will get to be faster. You will get nine point nine six nine point eight. You understand now? Now mm -hmm. divide this by a length of a plank. You will get number of pieces of planks you will use for all these things at once. You will get number of pieces of planks to be used. All right, you save it. You have gotten the extraction for for this one. You save. It. So that is how you extract for all, as many as you want, you extract them for slab, steel, for steel, that is the shadow, look at it, that is how you extract it, it gives you, and it gives you total, all this is that need for work, this is the total element content design element percentage total steel white tank is going to have so 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 number of weights so number of weights total length is this total weight is this so if you want to know total length you want to know how many how many pieces of white tank now white one uh, one foot iron is 12 meter divide this by 12 you get number of white tank you are going to use here for this work See, it's white thing, the same thing. Okay, this one is for for story slab. So each one has its own for story slab, total steel for foundation slab. So this one is okay, this one is particular for the foundation for the rough foundation. This is what you use the iron quantity you use. You divide this by twelve get it now for the story slab divide this by 12 you get it still bar table story slabs so it's telling us story two not in so this is the total total weight the total because it's white and we're using throughout in our slab because it gave us white and we did white and white tape and it used white ten. and the, the design was okay there was no too much over excess so we use white tin so that is it you save you can see that it's very very easy somebody telling you I will show you how to get extraction you will pay ten thousand Tell him that you have learned how to do it. You can do the last one now for the columns. You can do for the columns. Same thing, so we take time to go through it. Hmm? See? Y20 has so so has so so length. Y16, yes, so, so length. Divide each length by 20, by 12 meter. You know how many meters. This is for story columns and wall. Story columns and walls, and it's giving the columns that are involved in those walls. It's scheduling it. It's scheduling it. Okay. So that is it. Take time to go through it. Say, say. Take the view. Okay, in order to do this, the this one first. In the test, the test sheet should be ready.
the bin details, the bin detail of the bin sheet also has come with the bin details. So no, let's not waste our time with this. I don't want to create any sheet for the complicated. So we close it. So this is the end of our design in Orion. I believe you enjoyed the class and I believe you have learned from the class. If the class has helped you, refer somebody to the group. Refer somebody to the train. Refer somebody to be to upgraded in the field of knowledge. Thank you. See you in our next class. Hi guys, we have come to the end of our training foundation design of raft foundation and pile foundation. It has been a wonderful time in the class and I know you have benefited a lot from our class. Please, if you have found value in our class, don't forget to like our videos for others to see and learn. Don't forget also to subscribe to our channel, Card Skills Technologies. And also don't forget to turn on your notification buttons so that whenever we post new videos, you will be able to be notified. We do post new videos sometimes on daily basis and sometimes on weekly basis. It has been a wonderful time as we go into another phase of design which will help you and be beneficial to you. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.